Hello guys, this is Engineer Muhammad and welcome to our extra class and this class you ask it uh, for which is the like a revision about taking off of the reinforcement or the steel or the steel works okay actually we done this last semester but here just why we will give you a revision and the basic rule on how to take in off uh, the reinforcement uh, work okay now first of all you have to understand uh, where we are putting the steel the buildings okay and how it's look like actually in the buildings okay now actually we need the steel uh, works to support uh, the load okay as you can see we have the concrete we have the steel one for the complex uh, uh, complex load and one for the stress uh, load and so on okay so for example this is how it's look like in the beam okay this is the steel for the beams we have here another beam this is the columns okay and this is for the foundation okay so different uh, the same rules but is different look at uh, different uh, method and different uh, maybe type of the steel that's uh, in the column and foundation and beam now the first and the most important things or the first basic rule how to read the specifications okay see these yellow things this is how the specification is look like in your drawings or maybe in your contract so you will see something like this y16 at 150c to c okay what's what's that mean so first of all this one is nothing but the diameter of that or the size of that steel bars okay so diameter of the steel bars or the size of the steel bars in millimeter so if you have in the specification for example y16 that's mean this bar or this steel use that 16 millimeter okay the size of that steel bar is 16 millimeter at 150 150 this is nothing but the space between the steel bars also in millimeter and this is nothing but from center to center okay so for example you have some steels here okay so if you read that like this so this mean each steel bar here having the 16 millimeter dia or diameter or size okay the space here is 150 150 150 and so on okay so this is the space between uh, each type of uh, or each steel bar now the main two formula that you will use now first of all okay we have here our uh, like a plan of the steel works okay so now this length and this length if the longest one we call it long span okay the long length we call it long span the short length we call it the short span and why we are using like this because actually in the your site you don't have only one like this you will have two okay so maybe you'll have to calculate the one which is horizontal and the, the one which is vertical so we call this one the shorter one we call short span the longest one we call the longest span now also you have to know what we call the cover here now the cover is nothing but the space between maybe the steer up here and the outer or the we call it the main bar or the outer steel okay and this is the steer up and this is also the main uh, reinforcement or the main steel now this one each you have it also from the top and from the bottom and we will see some examples okay now the main two rules now as a QS you have to calculate the number of the bars you have to calculate maybe the total length of the each bar because we, when we buy it we buy it for length for example you will tell the suppliers I want 100 meters uh, of uh, 16 uh, millimeter uh, steel bar okay so as a QS you have to calculate the number of the bars sometimes sometimes the total length okay and the total length you cannot get it if you don't know the number of the bars and also we have to sometimes take off the weight of that uh, or of your steel uh, bar okay this is we will discuss it at the end of this uh, extra class now the first uh, formula here the number of the bars the number of bars 
for example, in this side, in the long span, we have the rule which is called the span length, okay, whatever the length you have it here, divided by the space, okay, so imagine that we have a span length, okay, this length, divided by the space, plus one to get the number of the bars. Now, why we need this one? Because, see here, if you have this uh, set of the element, okay, if we have four spaces, that means we have five bars, see, one, two, three, four, five. So that's why we add this one, because there is one bar here, okay, so always this is the rule to know the numbers of the bars, okay, so the span length, the length of this one, maybe, okay, divided by the space here, then add one bar, okay, you will get the, how many bars you have in this, uh, uh, this steel uh, group or this is or this span okay so the number of the bar now the total length we need the total length of these things okay for example this is one type so we need the total length if we want to buy it as one part so the total length is the number of the bars we know the number multiply by span length okay this length so this is the number multiplied by the length we will get the total length okay this we need it and this is will be in meter okay this is in number and as a QS this is the one that we will write in our dimension sheet the total length so the total length is the number of the bars divided by the span length the number of the bars that we can calculate in the waste calculation this then we will put the total length okay now let's see a small example okay let's suppose that we have this set okay and we have our specification they said we will use y16 at 100 space so this is the space and this is the dia okay we want uh, the total length of each bar now imagine that we have bars here okay and we have or the steels bars okay we have here so we want the number for all these and also we need the total length for each type now let's start by the long span and as i told you the long span is nothing but the longest one okay now here actually it's by mistake so this should be 1000 this should be 5000 okay so this is the longest one so is since we have only one space for the long and the for, for the short because sometimes on the side you or in the drawings you have one specification for the short span another specification for the long span so the rules say for let's start by the long span okay these things here okay only we'll take the long the long one so first the number of bars and second the total length so the number of the bars it is nothing but the span length okay so here uh, say this is short okay and this is long okay let's start by the short one so the span length divided by the space plus one so the span length we have it here as 1000 and here is the space is 100 okay and this is we can make it as a millimeter okay a plus one so we have 11 numbers so imagine this is the short one this is 1000 so that means we have 11 uh, bars here okay so 10 here and one here and the space between them is 100 okay the total length for each all of this one is nothing but the number for each bar multiplied by the span length so number of the part span length you will get 11 uh, meter okay this one we will take it in our dimension sheet because in our dimension sheet we take the uh, steel as meter okay similarly for the long one number of the bars span length okay so this 5000 divided by the space 100 the space we got six numbers okay so maybe have six here for the long one and then the total length number of the bars which is six multiply by span length okay and we will get the 30 uh, meter okay so this is the total length of the long one this is the total length of the short one now for your coursework it's always as i told you the taking off depending on your requirement or on your specifications so i will show you just one example for the roof slab okay so 
the other things is different for example for the columns different for the concrete is different okay we will discuss only here for the roof slab okay so for the roof slab this is the step that you have to take off first of all you have to take off the number of steel this is always the first step and this is in waste calculation then the span length if you don't have the span length and this is also waste calculation and then the total length we will put it in the dimension sheet and if it is there is any similarity or any uh, same type of the steel we can use the time sink uh, column okay now for this one for the roof we have covers and we have the thickness so we will use the first one the number of the bars this rule then in order to get the span length because we don't have it okay and this is we use it for the short and long okay this is uh, from the drawings you can get this formula so center to center length plus slab thickness minus the covers for covers so you will get the length okay then you will use the same rules now if you go to your coursework here uh, you will see that we have always we have uh, like bottom and top and always we have short and see here short long for the for example footing for the beam you have for example top bottom and so on so for the roof you have also the bottom reinforcement so imagine that uh, this is your roof okay so we have at the bottom some reinforcement that's we call it bottom reinforcement at the top of the roof we have top reinforcement and also we have short span and long span okay so this is nothing but this bs that means bottom short bl bottom long okay ts t, uh, t, uh, top short and tl uh, the top long okay so this is just uh, like annotation for you or short cut rather than rewriting every time bottom reinforcement short bottom reinforcement long you can write it like this so bs bottom reinforcement short bottom short bottom long top short and top long okay uh, i will show you now uh, this is the information that you need from the drawings if you want to take off the uh, slab for your coursework so you need this drawings okay so you will know the area of the slabs and the long and the short okay then the slab schedule here okay this is the thickness because we use it in this formula okay bottom see here bottom reinforcement and top reinforcement short and long short and long okay each one different specification for example for the short here for short and long 16 diameter and the space 150 okay here uh, same as well and see here focus some of them is 125 some of them is 150 so you have to take off care of this one so each slab has different a type of the roof also you need this one for the covers okay because what we are trying to apply is this formula so we need length we need the length you can get from the drawing the thickness from the table and the covers also from the this table now let's see if this is from last year uh, one student uh, solved it like this okay so first of all he put the information from the drawings okay he said here roof slab enforcement and then this is the formula for taking off the roof uh, steel okay for example this is s1 slab one the thickness the diameter for that slab this is nothing but the location of that slab okay for example this one the location of that slab uh, then this is all the information it's nothing but the information okay so he bring the information from the drawing and put it here see here bottom short bottom short this is the specification of the steel that uses in bottom then he calculated the bottom short and the bottom uh, long steel okay as i told you in the waste calculation the number of the bars okay this is the number of the bars then you will use the same formula to get the total length okay this is the total length okay why this is 1 into 15 okay because uh, of this slab okay so because we have uh, more than one so this is why we calculate one into 15 and similarly for the long one okay 
same step we will use it for the bottom short bottom long top uh, short and top long okay uh, now the last things we'll talk today is the weight now always each diameter has weight for example if we have one steel bar diameter six that's mean okay this is six diameter that's mean it's weight for only this one it is the 0 0.22 kilogram meter okay so what we will do we'll just uh, bring uh, the numbers of the uh, of that uh, steel and we will multiply by the weight okay see this is just like example okay for example for the 16 we will get the diameter and we'll multiply it by the weight and we will get our weight okay this is example also from your uh, coursework okay so we will multiply uh, the meter okay so the long maybe the long or the meter or the length multiply by the weight or the kilogram so you will get it as the total okay this is how to calculate the weight okay so this is the end of our your extra class if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me this is engineer muhammad and see you in uh, next week